I'm Michaela Chester for NCAA Digital, and in this segment, Texas Volleyball head coach Jarrett Elliott will build his ultimate dream player. I gave Coach Elliott 11 categories, and he picked players that he coached at Texas since 2001 for each category to build his ultimate dream player. Chloe Collins was the one um, that kept popping up in my mind. I think she uh, was a great leader. I think she had great rapport with her teammates. And, uh, you know, she was extremely athletic, um, undersized setter, but uh, was able to bring it and, you know, brought us to numerous Final Fours and uh, was a, a great floor general. Um, she was able to get the best out of her players. Uh, she understood how to run an offense and uh, was just so much fun to coach. There's so many things that you go into in terms of what you want from a quarterback, but one that is able to relay the messages from what you're trying to get the point across to be able to bring it onto the floor and to be able to understand that. And she was able to do that at a high level and really miss having her on the floor. And she was so much fun to be around. I think everybody knows one that really stands out was Destiny Hooker. She uh, was a high flyer, super dynamic, uh, and really came into her own within our program because she came in with very little experience. But th there's not many players that were breathtaking to watch kind of take off the floor and and be able to score from all, all corners of the, the court. And so, you know, she obviously uh, is a spectacular athlete, had the opportunity to go not only in volleyball to the Olympics, but also in high jump, and uh, is one of the best players in the world right now. And that was uh, Chiaka. And, uh, you know, she's on our national team right now, playing professionally in Italy. But, you know, she was one that really developed and understood kind of the jump to the timing behind it, how to close. and and where to put her hands in critical situations. So big time blocker for us, that was great. On the left side, it was Bailey Webster. You know, she was long, uh, she could get in front of somebody. And, you know, she was the one that uh, stopped the great opposite from Oregon when we won the national championship. So just a, a really good forceful blocker on that side as well. The hype man is so much fun. You know, those are the ones that bring energy to the court every single day that are able to make their teammates better at a high level and really able to kind of change the dynamics of of a, a game. Um, there's two players that come to my mind. One is Cat Bell, um, just high energy. Uh, everybody loved her fan favorite. And the other one was Julianne Fawcett. Um, you know, she was one that in 2010 we were depleted and she just was so great at keeping our team going and, and made so many big time touch plays for us to, to get to that final four when we were well understaffed as a team. There's so many different dynamics that you go into being a great captain. One is that's able to make the players around them better. One is that's able to speak the language of the coaches and one that has just a great feel of what's going on around them and then is able to make those players change and, and develop and be united. Uh, this one really stood out was Ashley Engel back from our 2009 team. Uh, she took a lot of responsibility in many different areas and uh, was a, a great floor general, but she was also one that was able to do the things that we asked. She, she was a hitter, then we asked her to set, and then she was able, also able to lead and get players to kind of form in line to, to become the team that we were that year. <laughs> That's, that was a challenging one because there's so many players that have been good, but uh, Kat McCoy comes to mind, our libero. She loved to kind of just flop around and, and play those balls, and uh, she really embraced that, that skill set. Yeah, this one was Haley Eckerman. You know, she had a, a, a deadly jump serve that was able to kind of go in uh, some huge point runs for us, you know, in the national championship game in 2012. I think it was 23 all in game two and she got a big ace for us. So she was clutch in that, in that area and was able to put up a lot of points for us. Yeah, this one was actually really easy for me to choose because she never got a lot of credit for us. Um, this was Shadair McNeil. She was a middle blocker turned opposite uh, in our 2012 team. And she was really the glue for our team. She never got all the credit. She should have been an All-American, but she was our floor general and, uh, you know, kind of kept everybody together. But, you know, it really opened up her offense based on what she could do. It was really unfortunate she didn't get to be All-American, but she was definitely a big key to us winning the national championship. Uh, she was a kid that we got uh, that just loved to flop around and just, you know, run through chairs, dive into the, the crowd, and just a super aggressive that was willing to sacrifice her body all the time. That is Amy Neal. She was an undersized player that came in, didn't play a lot in the beginning and really worked into being a mentally tough and really good player, but she was undersized and at 5'10", and she learned how to be able to have a toolkit or a, as you would say, a Swiss Army knife of set of tools to be able to, to score. And she became big 12 player of the year and uh, you know led us to a final four. And it was just so much fun to have because she would frustrate opponents with a variety of you know volleyball IQ and shot selection.
Well, I think the, one of the biggest moments that stands out in my career, and I think a lot of our players' career, was when we played uh, Florida in the regional finals, and it was late in game five, and we subbed uh, Mirko Boselovic into the game. And we played against uh, Hermod, the, the great middle blocker from Florida, and we had her commit block on her, and she made a commit block, stuff block. So she didn't play a lot for us, but she was what it counted and really got us to a Final Four.